Hello everybody, this is Dragonzilla1991 here, and for today slash tonight, depending on what time it is when you're watching this video, I'm going to be talking about the Papo Woolly Mammoth, and the reasons for that is because, as all of you will know, that next year, Eofauna will be making models of both the Columbia Mammoth and American Mastodon respectively, and so to celebrate, I thought that it would be suitable to look at their most famous and iconic cousin. Now, the mammoth species originally evolved 5 million years ago, However, the woolly mammoth itself only arrived onto the scene around about 300,000 years ago, so not too long after the Ice Age started. These giants were native to Europe, Siberia, and eventually North America. They lived alongside particular megafauna, depending on what region they occupied, as well as our ancestors. And the last of these colossuses died out on Wrangell Island 4,000 years ago, shortly after the Great Pyramids in ancient Egypt were completed and scientists are attempted to resurrect slash clone these long lost sleeping extinct goliaths. The woolly mammoth is so well knownly recognisable that I think that we all know its history. That was just an abbreviation on it. Onto the figure itself. Now I believe that this is actually Papo's first Cenozoic animal, the second being the Smilodon. The mammoth was released all the way back in 2008, and the Sabertooth cat came out two years later. Now Papo really doesn't have the best record, Especially when it comes to recreating their dinosaurs, as they intend to be more movie-inspired, rather than scientifically accurate. Unlike Safari, Eofauna, Collector, etc. and so on. But when it comes to the mammals, particularly the Ice Age animals, they appear to knock it out of the park, even though there are some exceptions. However, most of the time, they get it right. Especially with those like the Woolly Rhino and the Mammoth. Because we confidently know on what the Woolly Mammoth looked like, Thanks to frozen specimens being discovered in the permafrost, an ancient 40,000 year old cave art being found in southern Europe, this giant is going to turn out scientifically accurate, regardless. Unlike most other Papo models, the mammoth, although still hard, is quite soft. Well, at least in the tusks and trunk. But that may be for safety reasons, so that they don't snap off in case an incident were to occur. His paint job is mostly brown, with bits of black mixed in, and the tux are very appropriately a yellow weathered ivory colour. The pose is nothing too unique, as it shows the woolly mammoth taking a walk, and he has his storage hub that was used to store food and water. He's got his mouth open, just slightly, and go by the way it is sculpted, it looks as if he is smiling. I also love the tusks too, they're my favourite part of the animal, as they're nice and curved. Although on the Papo figure, I think that they might be pointing just a bit far too back, However, I do believe that some mammoths would have had their tusks like this. Not 100% too sure, but just a bit of speculation. So for media appearances, the woolly mammoth, like so many other famous prehistoric animals, has starred in a heck of a lot of movies, TV shows, documentaries, video games, comic books and novels, etc and so on. You name it. Dino Guy did a video on the many media interpretations for the woolly mammoth. I'll provide a link to that video in the description if you wish to check it out. However, for my top 5 personal favourites, well those would be from Walk With Beasts, Episode 6 Mammoth Journey, Wow New World, the Discovery documentaries What Killed the Mega Beast said Before We Ruled the Earth, it's the same model, Ice Age Giants, and of course this guy. And now for size comparisons. So here's our woolly mammoth with the Papo Smilodon, the top iconic predator of the Pleistocene Park. I definitely plan to review this cat at some point in the not too far distant future. Here he is with his cousin, the Safari Limited American Mastodon, who has been covered before. Links in the description below if you want to see that video. Here he is with the two woolly rhinos that I currently own in the collection. One from Papo and the other from Mojo that I talked about last year. Again, links in the description below if you wish to check that video out. This is what he looks like with the Eofauna Scientific Research, Stat Mammoth and Paleoloxodon. Both have been looked at and reviewed, links below. And here he is with the last two Ice Age Papa models, those being the Cave Bear and Giant Irish Elk Megaloceros. So final thoughts on the Papo Woolly Mammoth. This is truly a great mammoth figure, period. Highly recommendable, especially if you're an Ice Age fan or mammoth enthusiast like I am. And he will look great with other mammoth models. He also has a bootleg counterpart that I saw when I visited Ken Caverns. Link to that video is in the description below. Because the woolly mammoth is one of the most easiest prehistoric animals to reconstruct, 
it really wouldn't surprise me if Eofauna has this Titan on their radar. That's all I've got to say on this figure now, folks. Great model, and one of Papo's best in my opinion. This is Dragonzilla1991, signing out. Take care, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.